I guess it's every girl's dream to be adored by good-looking men, but I kid you not, it could turn out really complicated. Hi there! You can call me Kirsten, and I'll be sharing with you the story of how I got caught up in between two handsome guys. Do you want to be adored and loved? Then like this video and hit that subscribe button. First, let me tell you about gorgeous guy number one. Julian and I were classmates since grade school, but we had never been close. I wouldn't even consider us as friends. We were totally polar opposites. He was an introvert and was usually really quiet in class. Too quiet. To the point that even the teacher forgot who he was one time and asked him why he was in the class. I, on the other hand, was Miss Extrovert. <laughs> Gorgeous guy number two is Craig. I met him at my cousin's birthday party. Craig was humorous and had a strong charisma. He was a people magnet, so we immediately kicked it off. We hung out and eventually ended up dating. Whenever I was with Craig, he never failed to make me feel special. Craig was such a sweet guy, and that was my problem with him. He was too sweet. He made all the girls around him feel special, to the point that it made me feel insecure. I was his girlfriend, and you can call me selfish, but I really want my boyfriend's sweetness all for myself. I tried to understand him, but I can't help getting jealous. My head just steams up whenever I see girls throw themselves to him. And what makes me even angrier? is that he entertains them, even when I am right beside him. He doesn't even notice how I am about to explode in anger whenever this kind of thing happens. Like this one time we were about to watch a movie in the cinema and we met this girl whom he said was his acquaintance. He invited her to join us in the movies and then called his best friend to join us too. The more the merrier. He said he even told me to consider it as a double date. Ugh, I was so pissed. When his best friend arrived, it turned out to be Julian. I was so surprised. I never imagined my outgoing boyfriend Craig to be best friends with the ultimate introvert Julian. I guess things are never as you expect. Throughout the movie, Craig's female friend kept on flirting with him while I got stuck with Julian. That was the worst date ever. I went home feeling so sad and sorry for myself, thinking if I was good enough for Craig. After that movie date, small gifts in the form of pastries were delivered to my house every day. Finally, Craig was making up for making me feel horrible that night. I called Craig to thank him for his gifts. Um, what gifts? He asked over the phone. I blushed. He's even pretending not to know. Through the months, the small gifts from Craig kept coming. From time to time, I would tell him how much I appreciated his thoughtfulness. But Craig continued to act like he didn't know about it. One day, Julian came to my house, bringing the same kind of pastry Craig always gave me. Oh, did Craig ask you to bring me those? I asked. Kirsten, I have something to tell you. He said his face was red as a cherry. The pastries weren't from Craig. He started. All of those came from me. He continued. Why would you send me all those things? I asked him, baffled. Julian shyly looks at the floor the entire time he talks. I'm in love with you, Kirsten. I have been in love with you since we were in fifth grade. I'm always nervous whenever you are around, and that's why I couldn't talk to you in school. I know you were heard about how Craig is always surrounded by so many girls. I just wanted to make you happy. That was why I sent you all those things. Julian shyly explained, What are you talking about? I'm dating your best friend. Does he know about this? I told him, No, he doesn't. Please don't tell him, he said, his face turned even redder. But don't you think he should know, I asked. No, if you say a word to him about this, I will kill myself. I swear I would do it, 
he nervously answered and ran off. Whoa, that was a pretty big threat. It made me worry about Julian, so I kept my mouth shut and kept his secret from Craig. To this day, I still date Craig while Julian continues to send me gifts and letters expressing his feelings for me. This is how I got myself caught up in between two gorgeous men. And I really don't know what to do about the two of them. I still really like Craig, but somehow, I feel like I'm also starting to like Julian too. I am so confused now. What do you think about my life story? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below.